Well, hello there again, friend. Delight is going to be a little complicated to handle lately. So yeah, that didn't really work. Uh, from now on, I need to do shorter videos, uh, small sized videos because if I do if I do them like longer, my voice is going to break, and I'm going to struggle all the way, and then I'm going to struggle all the way editing, and then I'm going to struggle all the way adding the subtitles, and I don't feel like it's going to work for me. So yeah, let's try with a with a shorter video this time. Yeah, I been meaning to make reviews of uh, you know people that I write and then write me I need to I want to do stuff and I want to talk about your music and I said that I said I want to I want to talk about your music and people said okay well, here's my music you can tell you can talk about their music and I talk about their uh, their, uh, their music and here we are some people say that my reviews sound more like aesthetic fan fiction and actual reviews but let's try to do a review anyway because oh. why not <laughs> if i don't do the effort to try to put my thoughts into words i'm not going to evolve with my english skills so we let's let's try let's try all right let's see if if maybe we can go through this the first record that i was sent it's called yellfire yellfire what a great name for an album in 2022 from where i was reading from the page of the album it's an indietronica idm release or that's how people tagged it because people can tag their genres and it has some interesting, some interesting influences. And I listened to it on Sunday, and what I found was actually pretty, pretty interesting, pretty nice. Um, the first track it's called the first track is called Lighthouse, and it starts with this celestial, you know, maybe space atmosphere, and it's very uplifting. There is a word that I wanted to include in what's called astral. Astral, maybe, probably, it's, I think it's related to the stars. Or I don't know if if it translates well with English and Spanish, but maybe I will call it astral. We, it starts with an atmospheric section where all the instruments are not given like a rhythm, but they are focusing on doing an atmosphere and it feels very celestial very spacey and then it evolves into what i will say is drum and bass i haven't heard much of electronica but it feels like it's what people tag as drum and bass atmospheric drum and bass anyway and at the end there are so many textures added some people tag the record as being post rock influenced and i kind of will say it does fit it feels like a post rock song but with scenes and drum and bass, electronics, and all the textures are used to create this heavenly atmosphere. I really like the track and I really like how it evolved and took all these re really interesting sounds at the end. And if there is one thing I like, it's a lot, is this kind of heavenly celestial music. So it was really nice to hear and it. it was a pretty great start. The second track is called Y M Y E M Y E M. It feels like a nostalgic memory. There is this piano reverberating through the cosmos. I can say that if I feel sad, it's the kind of track that will make me cry because it will it resonates with me deeply. It's a very bittersweet track, and I really loved it because I feel that sometimes bittersweet music describes a lot of what life can be to a lot of people, to a lot of us. Yeah, so it was an incredible song. I liked it as well. And the third track has this 
as this, not this, but this. <laughs> the third track has these little sounds, and then they are picked up as a sample. I mean, it starts with the sample of the bells, and then they they use like the bell sample to make the melody, and then the track picks up. I would say that's the most ideal of the tracks, since since it doesn't focus too much in creating atmosphere like the first track. This song has a more clear rhythm section until the middle, where it becomes more cheerful. Yeah, the name, I forgot the name, uh, I used to hunt for them. I used to hunt for them. So this song feels like running around through fields. And at the second half, it starts to create like a more emotional atmosphere because the first part is like more rhythm focused, focused and it has a certain momentum. I really like the second half of the track. It starts to create a more emotional atmosphere, which feels very winter-y, very winterish. It's very, very reminiscent, reminiscent of winter. And you know, when the, when the winter reaches you, it's very wistful, it's very pensive. And the fourth track called When the Farm Sank Continue, continues to be uh, uh, more wistful and, and pensive as the ending of the first. It continues from there. It's very uncertain, but the energy builds up and then it becomes more blissful, cheerful, and then it transforms completely. It becomes the spectral space piece, and it feels as if you were watching the whole cosmos. So you could say that the first part of this song is the uncertainty of leaving the Earth, in the middle is the happiness of the success and the end is about joining and becoming one with the whole universe or cosmos I guess. I mean maybe the, since it's an instrumental track the only clue we have about the themes it wants to ex say it's the title. Mm -hmm. The farm sank. It sounds like I don't know it sounds like a tragedy but I, I um, sounds like something really bad happened, but I'm not sure how. Not, I don't know. It's I'm thinking. It's a very abstract. I mean, it's still a very abstract title, you know. I guess, but still, what I'm saying is, I really liked it as well. There is a lot of emotion in these tracks, in these songs, and. I really like not just the emotion they're giving, but the atmosphere they create. Uh, okay, the final track is the the last track called The Car Crash. Feel it, and it feels as much as you will feel it does. It has this repetitive melody that feels like an ambulance siren in slow motion. Like... And the scenes create like a really cold atmosphere. It feels like the repetitive melody is like an ambulance siren coming to you or like your heart beating while you're outside alone in the vastness of space. It's a better, better sweet track because you feel a lot of worry and a lot of anxiety. But there is something about the melody. There is, there is, there is something in the melody that gives a sense of hope, like I don't know how to explain it. You have to listen to it. But at least that track, because what, what it does in that part is very special. Everything feels cold. Maybe you are in a winter afternoon on a lake, and maybe you are frozen to death or something. Uh, yeah, the title is, is more the concrete one to me, to give me an image of what the music is trying to do. But I can still connect a lot with the music. And the thing is that this track feels like a very worrisome, even one hopeful track. But at the five minutes, everything changes. Because we hear that what sounds like an acoustic guitar, it doesn't make uh, the music necessarily warm. I associate acoustic guitars with warmness, but there is a xylophone that keeps the cold atmosphere in place. And the guitar ma makes this really friendly melody. And there is not just like a friendly melody that eases the worrisome of the worriness of the first part of the track, but it takes some momentum, like saying, you come on, 
come on, let's go. And at the end of the record, electric guitars join in the whole song. It feels not overly triumphant because there is still some sadness in the melody, but triumphant enough. And the whole record changes. It's like the only bit in the whole record where there are guitars. You can feel the transformation not just in sound, but also in emotion of the track. It was really worrisome, like it felt anxious, it felt sad, but then there is like this triumph, this sense of overcoming what you're feeling. And it was really beautiful, really soothing, and not just soothing. So it was great, it was really great. All five tracks really blew me away. So what I will say about this record in general, I mean, it's stacked as an indie tronica IDM record, but I don't feel that it's trying to be that anyway. I just feel that it's using indie tronica and IDM sounds to achieve uh, these kind of compositions. I won't necessarily recommend this to people that are looking like for an IDM sound. I still don't know what that genre is anyway, <laughs> but maybe I will recommend it instead to post rock fans. Uh, some people tagged it as post-rock influenced, and I think it fits since mm. Jellfire is a record that uses synths, IDM, sounds, and electronics to create these beautiful compositions. And if you like that kind of emotional, soulful themes, and if you like that kind of emotional, soulful themes that you can find in some post-rock releases, we have to understand what post-rock is as well anyway. If you like Winter Imagery, you will like this album. If you like space imagery, like cosmos and planets and all that, you can also take the atmosphere and sounds of this album as such. And it's very enjoyable, very interesting. One thing I saw about this record is that it was recorded from 2003 to 2005, in a span of two years. And it was released just last year, which is pretty impressive because the record is still very, very cohesive and very consistent. Yeah, it's a pretty great record. If you, if no, I know you want to know my rating. And, and I said in the last videos that I still don't know a good, ra a good rating system that pleases me or that can please other people. But I think I can give a rating to this record. In all the planets of the Milky Way, I rate this record Venus. Yeah, that's my rating for this record, Venus. Venus, it feels very Venus. Maybe Jupiter? No, no, it's not like Jupiter. Oh, maybe like, I mean, Mercury is kind of hot, I guess, because it's close to the because it's close to the sun. So I guess that's my review, my first, my first review from this year. I think that kind of explains a bit what I was trying to say, probably. You know, this, this was actually kind of nice. Uh, talking, I, I mean, I spent a lot of time, more time talking and listening to music than actually doing music but this was really nice i would really like to talk about what music makes me feel and the the how music sounds and feels to me i guess so so yeah maybe this is the start of something nice this these reviews i'm doing yeah i mean i guess wait mm -hmm. I think I was supposed to review that other record before your fire. Stupid, 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 stupid. Okay, bye.